Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we got another review. This is of the Fury B F90. This is a 90 millimeter 2S micro FPV. This was sent to us from GearBest, and thank you to them for providing this product to review and to have some fun with, right? So let's get right to it. Like I said, this is 2S. This is a 400 milliamp, 7.4 volt 2S battery. Um, in the box we find we have some instructions, which is great. A lot of times they don't include it. Um, and this does, let's pull out here a little bit. Um, this does give you a step-by-step -step, um, kind of walkthrough of the binding process, of what, how you need to set it up in clean flight, what you need to do to charge it. So I appreciate that. It comes with extra set of props and a charger. All right, let's go ahead and get a weight on this. So by itself, it's 46 grams with the battery is 68. Now that's where it really makes a difference. If you look at, this is a QX80, so it is smaller. This is from GearBested also. This is my favorite little micro. Now this is 40 grams, so it's six grams lighter. But even with it, this comes with a 350 milliamp battery. We run a 600 on it. And so at 56 grams as opposed to 68. So, you know, you do feel the weight difference, especially once you add the battery to it. Um, but because it is a 2S, it's not as big of a deal. So. Um, I mean, you don't notice the weight too much in the air. Now, um, it does have these really nice ducts so that you can fly this. You know, my son's always wanting to fly his QX80 in the house. And I let him every once in a while. But, you know, if you run into some drywall with that at speed, it's going to put a ding. And so this kind of helps protect it. These do have, this does have the 8520 or 8.5 millimeter motors. Um, it has a Sirius Pro F3. This is the Evo version. Um, and the battery, like I said, is a 400 milliamp 7.4 volt. Um, as far as the VTX, it is 48 channel, 25 milliwatt. Pretty standard fare. Um, as far as the, the quality of the camera, the camera was quite good, nice and crisp. Um, and you know you can see everything is laid out really well and you know kind of built to a purpose as opposed to sometimes i feel like some of these micros they have the components they have a frame and they just kind of throw them together and hope that everything works and a lot of times especially when it comes to camera mounting it's a little bit of an issue but this one this was built this way and it was built to handle this system and so, you know, you could, if you wanted to, probably remove some of this stuff if you want to fly it outdoors um, only and you're not, you're not in need of the little, the ducts or the blade protectors, then you can fly without it. Um, so I put this in the hands of my son and I'm really proud of where he's going with flying. And so let's go to a video of him flying now. All right. Well, it actually ended up being me that ended up flying. My son had too much homework. And so when he has homework, he doesn't get to fly. So um, it's dad here flying. And you know what? I like this. I enjoy this little wasp, as they call it. Um, I don't like the fact, I didn't mention in the video, with this receiver, with the Spectrum receiver, you have to bind it every single time. And that is a pain it's not a huge deal but it it just is another step and so um, i wish that was different but but the flight characteristics and the power that this thing has it makes you really want to pick it up and just fly um, you can see it's pretty tight here in the front yard and because this thing just turns so well you can see how well it turns um, it it this small yard just it does fine and um, you know showing you here kind of a um, rather than showing you the goggles view which is a terrible view with my HD V3s for some reason um, that I uh, decided to show you a kind of a more of a line of sight view and that way you can really you get a better picture I think and see kind of the performance of it and um, had a lot of fun with this one 
you know the the ducks around the the blades are nice um, makes it where you can fly it indoors if you do hit something you're going to have to a lot of times spin them back into place and that can be an issue but overall i've had just a lot of fun flying this and um it always surprises me how quickly and how well it turns and sometimes it actually um it uh gets me takes me by surprise so that's it guys let's get back to the tabletop all right well there you can see this thing flies really well i was really surprised actually at how locked in this thing was from the factory and so sometimes they're really locked in and sometimes they're just really squishy <laughs> when it comes to handling and this thing is locked in so you know a lot of people think because oh this is just a you know a little toy and and they're put off maybe by the um the b kind of uh canopy it has i can tell you right now this is this is actually a really good flying little micro so if you're in the market for one this is one to look at um you know the nice thing about this is it does protect this is a real, really well protected um drone the camera is fairly well protected and even in hits we've taken a couple of hits you can see we bent up um this uh connecting part here for the prop guards um but you know it just bends right back in place nice and kind of soft plastic so the advantage of that is it may bend but it's going to bend right back for you so that's about it guys hope you guys are enjoying these reviews man we're going to we're enjoying using them this is going to go right into service for our drone club and i appreciate GearBest for sending this out to me check out my website xframesfpv.com you can check out GearBest at gearbest.com and i hope you guys have some time to fly <laughs>